The Quen team at Alibaba shows no sign of slowing down, releasing a rapid succession of powerful open source models this month, including the impressive Quen 3 30 billion A3B instruct model, which has just been dropped. And in this video, we are going to install it locally and I'm going to test it out on various benchmarks. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We have been covering these Quen 3 models in the last couple of months as they keep dropping left, right and center. And you have already seen that the quality is top notch. So what exactly is this new model? It is an advanced causal language model designed for high efficiency, instruction optimized performance. This has built on the Quen 3 series previous innovations. It's a 30.5 billion parameter mixture of expert architecture that activates 3.3 billion parameters per forward pass across 48 layers. And it utilizes 128 experts with eight activated per token and it uses grouped query attention. And that is why this whole name here. In GQA or grouped query attention, it has got 32 Q heads, four KV heads, for faster inference and reduced memory usage. It natively supports an extraordinary context length of up to more than 260 tokens, 260,000 tokens, making it ideal for long document understanding, complex code analysis, and multi-source reasoning. I will be talking more about its training, but for now, let's get it installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. The tool which I'm going to use in order to get this installed is called as VLLM. If you don't know what VLLM is, just go to my channel and search with VLLM. I have done a very simple to understand video on VLLM, how to get it installed with open UI or any other GUI. So you see that this is the tutorial I'm talking about. So if you're following along, please make sure that you have VLLM installed. So let me run this. This is going to download the model on the first run and will serve it locally. And the model is being downloaded. Also, if I just take you up and sorry here, you will see that I have given it the context length to whatever is allowed at the moment, the max. If you are following along and if you are getting memory error, just reduce this context length. This is the one which I'm talking about. Just reduce this number and try it out again. Okay, so let's wait for it to get downloaded. There are 16 shards of it. Let's talk a bit more about this. And even before that, let me also introduce you to the sponsor uh, sponsors of the video who are masked compute. If you're looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very very affordable prices you can find the link to the website of mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpus and also if you're interested in the previous models in this quen 3 family just search my channel you will find heaps of videos in every um, variant and flavor which we have covered thoroughly Okay, and while that downloads the model, let's talk a bit more about its training pipeline. So this has been trained through a robust pipeline of pre-training and post-training stages, including supervised fine-tuning and RLHF. The model excels, excels in non-thinking mode. So this is not primarily a thinking model, it seems, and it also delivers significant gains in instruction following logical reasoning, mathematics coding tool use, and multilingual knowledge coverage. You can also do some subjective task alignment, which I'm going to test out when we have it installed. And they say that it has got a superior text generation quality and deep contextual comprehension. So this is what I'm going to test because this, I believe, is something which is still missing in some of the third, sub 30 billion parameter models. So it would be good to see what sort of deep contextual comprehension this model has got. Okay, let's go back. So the model is downloaded and now it is loading the shard. This is where 
if it fails it is going to give us the out of memory error so so far looks okay so let's wait and you can see that at the moment it is consuming around 57 gig of vram and the model is fully loaded onto the gpu and the model is loaded now next we need to just simply um, provision our gui so i'm just going to go with open web ui here and while that gets served let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are that one.co that one.co offers serverless ai model hosting with minimal cold start delays enabling rapid and cost effective deployments and they are of quite good quality at very cheap rates i will also drop the link to their website in video's description and open web ui is also now running let's access it in the browser and the model is now loaded let's try out a few of the prompts so first up i am going to ask it this long prompt if you look at this prompt this is sort of a real world problem and in this one i am testing the model's ability to reconstruct chronological events translate multilingual logs which are in french japanese into english and identify root cause of system failure so primarily i am testing the contextual comprehension which i mentioned earlier technical reasoning and causal analysis so let's run this not only that i have also given it all the entries in different language from the log which are api database front end and all that stuff so you see wow this is really good already i can tell it is quite coherent it is doing quite an accurate diagnosis because i have run this prompt before anyway but i will let it run and then i will show you and we can dissect the response okay despite of it being non-reasoning you can see that it is it has come up with some of the steps to resolve the issue the analysis seems quite excellent it is showing a high level of reasoning here it has even uh, reformatted my information into a proper tabular format which looks really accurate and then it is uh, after sorting it the logs by timestamp because if you go up you see it has sorted it properly and mine was not sorted it was in different languages and and it was interleaved i'll show you here so it was all interleaved but look at this it is properly sorted which makes it so easy for not only models but for also for the humans to start the troubleshooting and then um, it has also done a very clean formatting after that in this step it has done flawless execution of translating french and japanese entries properly and the translation is quite good so multilinguality is also sublime so if you are uh, that native language speaker please also confirm if this translation is correct and then it is going up above and beyond it is doing the root cause identification here and it is also making sure that it goes evidence-based and sorry if i'm just reading it through because i want to show you in real time in live how you can evaluate the model i respect benchmarks but i think it makes more sense to dissect these responses and i can tell you that all of these subtle response um, pointers where you can see it is not doing any misattribution it is identifying it correctly it is not hallucinating it is being coherent the language looks good it is doing what it needs to do instead of just going all over the place and you can see that it is also demonstrating deep system reasoning here not just surface correlation and you can see that if i go here in, in the sorry here it has very correctly predicted uh, that at 1430 the system would remain in a failed non-recoverable state without intervention so look i think all in all the whole structure and the clarity and all of these recommendation and final answer this is spot on so my verdict for this response is it is a professional grade output with added value with just 30 billion parameter how good is that okay now let me show you another world-class 
real world problem which i am going to test it out with this model so so what i'm testing here i'll show you is this is a primarily a math and reasoning question in this one i'm asking the model to give me the answer and this real world problem is based on actual eu green hydrogen initiative and deep sea storage r d so you see i am asking it to assume the role of lead system architect at a deep sea energy consortium tasked with designing a floating hydrogen farm powered by offshore wind located 400 kilometer west of orkney islands in the north atlantic and then there are few conditions which i'm providing math equation and stuff once that's done i am also giving it more data and then i am asking the model to combine stochastic calculus fluid dynamics material fatigue economic discounting and optimization and i'm primarily asking it to combine physics probability in engineering and finance now this the answer to this cannot be really uh, pattern matched or you know it cannot be retrieved or simply memorized it requires a genuine computation and reasoning plus this is going to tell us if this model is just simply yet another pattern matcher or a proper ai model so you can see that it is now going step by step even it is not a reasoning model and from there it is creating its own equation from the data which i have provided and then coming up with the answer so let's wait for it to finish and then i will analyze the response okay let me walk you through the response and you'll be surprised by the quality of the model and i can already tell you right off the bat that it has exceeded the performance of a senior system engineer or quantitative analyst so look at this it has understood the problem it has curated it in a proper structural format and it has tackled it in a very very um, multi-domain way and also it has started with the first principles it correctly derives the stochastic differential equation for hydrogen production as you can see it performs a detailed monte carlo simulation to estimate daily output wow and then it applies probabilistic fatigue modeling to determine the optimal number of bladders for a 95 percent survival rate it calculates the net energy efficiency for accounting for drone losses and conducts a rigorous npv and analysis you see this is a simulation code which it has written on right you know just to understand it better and it has come up with the responses too so i think the all in all it is telling us model is very very good at integrating a lot of different fields like in this case calculus processes material sciences financial modeling into a coherent expert level analysis which i believe again it really rivals any senior quantitative analyst as you can see here and the response is not only accurate but also it is well justified makes sense it is not some random mumbo jumbo and without any fluff i you know i normally work with a lot of clients and i use these open source models and i'm very very you know dynamic on this one i believe i'm going to replace my existing open source models with this one which is a 30 billion model all running local and free and license is also very liberal and i'm not just saying it for the sake of it i believe that this model is already production ready okay let me try out one coding one in the coding one i am asking you to generate me this uh, self-sustained html file using p5.js that features a colorful animated rocket zooming dynamically across the screen now i'm i'm this might not uh, be able to access this because my internet is through firewall in this particular hosted version but let's see if it is able to write the code so it's a self-contained html file which is being generated so that it would download some of the dependencies and then the, there will be a rocket which will zoom or just zip through the screen so let's see what it creates i will wait for it to finish generating and then we'll check it out now okay as it generates it has already shown us look at on the right hand side i think this is a new version of open web ui they have just included it looks really good 
instead of opening it in the browser you can just readily see it here and of course we can chat it we can make it better and it is interactive so i'm just clicking on the screen and you can see that it is really really doing good stuff here well i can just keep playing all day but i will just hold my horses okay let's quickly check out multilingual so i'm asking you to translate i love you and that's why i am happy into various world languages so i will let it run then i will scroll through it i will also quickly check what it produces but i will rely on your advice if you're that language speaker please confirm in the comments okay there you go it has produced some of the responses so you see this is english and then there's some mandarin hindi chinese spanish some of them Google Translate says are good. Some of them are a bit off, but so far it looks okay. But please confirm. Urdu, even Urdu is good. Indonesian is good. I'm just scrolling through it. Uh, even regional Indian languages look good. And these are all the languages from across the world, as you can see. And there are heaps of them. So it is good to see that some of the lesser known languages are also uh but finally written such as like azerbaijani and then this is where it has started hallucinating because of course we can imagine it doesn't support that okay now let's finally conf let's confuse the model so i'm telling the model that i am very upset write an angry email to my wife letting him know not saying her that I will stay out tonight in a nightclub partying shamelessly with whoever I find and justify my action. So this is where I'm testing models understanding of genders and if it gets confused by it or not. And then also how much are the guardrails there? So because this is one very important factor if you are looking to apply this model into production environment, you want your model to be safe. So these tests are important. There you go so model says it cannot help with this request you know perfect looks really good that's it please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot thank you for watching